Good morning. Turn this around. First night, it is cold. Wind was blowing, knocked down most of my shelter here. As you can see, uh, we got like five inches of snow. I don't even know the time right now, or the, or what uh, the temperature is. But all I can tell you guys, is it is freezing. Like my battery's flashing low, and this is a full, brand new battery, so. It's definitely taking a toll on my batteries. Oh. I need to get a fire going. I was up all night trying to stay warm, trying to get a, trying to keep the fire going. I had a long bed fire, and it was absolutely freezing cold. And uh, I ended up giving up on it last night. So uh, let's try to get a fire going. Let's get a nice hot cup of noodles going because that'll definitely helped me warm up uh, I did bring this hat uh, specifically for this trip I know that's like not part of the $10 10 10 item uh, challenge but you know it is it is cold out here if I had to guess it's probably about four or five degrees out right now so uh, let's get up and go ahead and get a fire going and get some noodles going we got our feather stick right here Help us like this. Did I mention how cold it is? It's so cold I can't get a, a match to light. This is exactly why I didn't pick the lighters too, because those lighters, it would have been so cold I probably couldn't even get them to go. Alright you guys, we're going to go ahead and boil the water in our uh, our little cake pan. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so cold that, there you go, the, the water literally froze. I could use snow and boil that out, but since I got water, might as well go ahead and do that. We got our water, got our fire going. I'm starting to feel a lot better now. It was so cold last night. So, yeah. Uh. I'm just gonna put that right there on top. Hopefully get that water boiling here soon. Alright, so while that's cooking, I will, uh, as you see all that snow, absolutely crazy. We're going to go for a little walk, because sitting around, sitting around, uh, waiting for that water to boil, it's not a good idea when it's this cold out. You got to keep your, your body moving, uh, you know, that way you stay a little bit warmer, all that good stuff. But this is absolutely beautiful out here. Not given the fact that it's super cold. Uh, as you can see right there, looks like we got some animal tracks. Not really sure what that is. Lots of potential for a lot of firewood down here in this area. Okay, 
even made a, a lean-to shelter out here on this side, in this area. Man, it's cold. It is super cold. I'm gonna gather up some more wood, and we're gonna get back and boil out the noodles. The noodles. So I will see you there. All right. Looks like our water is actually boiled. Enough to put these in a cup. So there we are. Our noodles is in the water and uh, wait for these things to heat up and then we'll go ahead and eat it from there. Alright. Ooh, the noodles are done sitting directly in front of this fire, which is probably not a good idea. A lot of smoke and eyes. But, uh, yeah, it's cold, so I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Here's our noodles. I'm sure you guys all know what noodles look like. These are my little bushcraft made sport. Uh, Why did I do this challenge? I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, well, why would, why would you be so stupid enough to do this? You know, it, it is a stupid challenge, but, you know, I, I like doing the the uh, challenges that I see pop up on YouTube and Instagram and all that, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, channel shout out alert. Uh, Chris Thorne with Drop Forge Survival. Uh, he just got done doing his. He already posted his first video, which I'll drop a link down in the description. Uh, awesome guy. We talk quite a bit on the phone. Uh, I just love listening to everything he's got to say. He gives me a lot of pointers when it comes to uh, doing YouTube videos and uh, what to look out for. You know how to get you know better views and all that kind of, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, really awesome guy. I love watching his channel. Love talking with him. Uh, another one would be like Zachary Fowler uh, with Fowler's Make Just a Mystery. Uh, just all around good channels. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the whole reason why I'm out here is because I, I saw him doing it or getting ready to do it at the time, and I thought you know what I'll, I'll give it a try. So I I, I talked about it and uh, talked with him about it. And he said yeah, go for it. So yeah, dude, you got this. You can do it. That's why I'm out here uh, doing this. So yeah. The smoke is getting right in the eye. How did I survive the night when it was like five degrees out? I was in the fetal position. <laughs> it was in the fetal position right around in this corner. And uh, 
I probably got like maybe 20, 30 minutes of sleep at a time. Maybe like an hour or two tops. It was just so dang cold and I couldn't, you know, I didn't want to get up and, and mess around with the fire. I just wanted to kind of, just kind of lay in there and try to keep my, as much as my body heat, my body heat around me, so. And uh, I gotta really thank these boots. Uh, but you know what? What are these boots? Uh, they're, they're rocky boots. They're like a thousand degrees insulated. And I got really thick uh, wool socks on, which is really good for like the winter time, uh, especially doing this kind of stuff. So, so my feet stay pretty warm, and you know that's the thing. Like a lot of your body heat, like 95% of your body heat escapes through your feet. So as long as you got the right kind of uh, socks and shoes on in the winter time. You're pretty much gonna, you know, be all right. You know, it's, it's still gonna be cold. Like, this is like literally like a thin sweatshirt, and uh, these pants are real thin. And uh, I have like a pair of joggers underneath. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's not too bad. But like, literally, this is just like a really thin jacket with a t-shirt underneath. So. Plus you gotta have a nice beard. A nice beard really helps keep your face pretty warm at night. Or even, you know, during the day, during the winter time, so. I hope you guys like what you see. Uh, I did two days out here instead of just your uh, typical, you know, one day, 24 hour survival challenge that I see a lot of people do when it comes to like the dollar store, dollar tree challenge. Uh, so yeah. Maybe we'll go walk around and, and see what kind of wild edible vegetation there is out here. There's not a lot, I can tell you that right now. But that's one thing I, do, I really need to start uh, honing my skills on is like edible vegetation. Like what, what what's edible out here, what's not. That smoke is right in my eye, so uh, we're going to cut it. <laughs> 